Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Danka Praktik. In this video you can see how to drive in high heels. As a woman there's a good chance that sooner or later you'll have to drive in high heels. This video will give you some tips that should help you do that without problems. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik. If you're interested in videos on how to do the basic checkups on your car, check out the links in the video description where you can see how to check the engine oil, coolant and washer fluid. Just a few words about what the actual problem is when driving in high heels and the problem is foot support. While driving your feet need a good support to be able to press the brake and accelerator pedals and in case of a stick shift the clutch. This is a key factor for reaction on time when driving and thus safety on the road. When in high heels this support weakens and you're in danger of not pressing the pedals properly, your foot getting stuck in the pedals or even the foot slipping off the pedal. This inevitably leads to a possible loss of control. You should have this in mind every time you drive in high heels. It's sort of a more risky situation and goes side by side with driving in flip-flops for instance. The first and best way to drive in high heels is to choose the right kind of shoes or sandals. Preferably choose shoes or sandals with a thicker and shorter heel. It will provide a good support and give much more maneuverability for the foot. Yes, it is possible to drive with a thinner and higher heel, but honestly it's much more risky as there's much less support. One more important thing is to properly position the foot when driving in high heels. Put the heel down on the floor in such a way that you have good support, but also to be able to position the front of the foot on the pedal properly. This way, when you press the pedal, there's less chance that the foot will slip off of it. This is especially important when driving a stick shift for instance, as the clutch pedal is frequently pressed. If the shoe or sandal is open at the toes, watch out that the pedal doesn't get stuck between your toes and the shoe. Once you've positioned the heel this way, you'll see that you can conveniently use the heel for swinging the foot backwards and forwards. This is very convenient not only for driving, but also keeping the foot rested and under less strain. This comes in very handy for longer drives. Always pay attention that you don't accidentally push the floor mats with the heels or shoe under the pedals. If the floor mats aren't attached to the floor, they can easily slip and get tangled into the pedals and jam them. This goes double in urban city driving when the pedals are pressed much more frequently. If you see that the floor mat is causing problems and you have to tuck it back all the time, best remove it completely. This is better than causing an accident. Whatever kind of shoes you're wearing, make sure the soles aren't wet or muddy. If they are, the foot will surely slip off of the pedal. This goes double for high heels, not so much for the heel as for the front of the shoe. Since the front part of the foot and shoe is positioned somewhat higher and less opposed to the pedal, if the sole is wet, it will slip almost for sure. If all of these tips don't help and you still have to drive, then there's one last resort. Drive barefoot or in your socks. Yes, it may not be hygienic or may feel awkward, but it's better than causing an accident. But the best solution we can offer for the end of this video is to have a pair of spare shoes, sneakers or sandals with a flat sole in the car. Put them on when driving and once you arrive to your destination, put the high heels back on again. This may be a bit more complicated, but it's better than causing an accident. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.